Welcome back to Citizens Forum. I'm Will Smith, and my guest today is Terry Oliver, another local author. And I'll tell you, this place is just crawling with authors and musicians. We just ran into each other uh, at the Hub, where I'm working on Fridays, and he's, uh, he's an author. He's written a new book. He's got a copy of it here. So tell us about your book. Why is it it's called Ample Make This Bed? Why is it called Ample Make This Bed? That doesn't sound like it makes sense to me unless somebody's <laughs> named Ample. <laughs> It's basically the first line of a poem by Emily Dickinson, the um, American poet. And she, she was writing about the whole you know, end of life. And so okay. she's talking about the grave, basically. I'll oh. just read the first verse, and then you'll, you'll see what it means. Okay, like, read that for us. What it is a dedication. Us. Ample make this bed, make this bed with awe. In it wait till judgment break, excellent and fair. Be its mattress straight be its pillow round. Let no sunrise yellow noise interrupt this ground. Okay, great. <laughs> nice, eh? So, I love that. So where is this, where is this set? It's, it's set in Nova Scotia. Um, and the reason I, I chose that is I like to have some sort of a, uh, uh, a travel basis to, so there's, it's another kind of selling point, if you like, for to, to change the setting, something that I don't know and, and have a chance to Oh, so you don't know, about. you didn't know Nova Scotia, so I, you uh, had to I research had a, it. I had a chance to go down there and rent a cottage right in, uh, uh, right in the heart of Nova Scotia in Lunenburg, which you may have heard of, because it's famous for the Blue Nose and oh, okay. Mutiny on the Bounty, and then no, both, I haven't heard both of those that. ships were built there. Anyway, I, at, uh, gave me six months in a place where I didn't know anybody, so I went down there and I could just focus on writing. So that was sort of my first point. But when I got down there, I thought, what a fantastic setting for a novel, you know. So I used that as, as the, the setting for the novel because I wanted to introduce um, my other, one of my other favorite themes, which is writing about the theater. Oh, okay. And because I've been involved in theater most of my adult life um, and still am here in town. And so do you write plays too? I write plays. I think of myself first and foremost as a playwright. Okay, so this but is a new, the novel is a... Well, no, this, I've written a trilogy of novels prior oh. to this one, all about this whole, this, the other main theme that I write about is living in the third age and, and what that means for us now that, you know, we're all living to be so much older you know, than yes. our parents' generation. So here we are, and you, but we still retire, 60, 65, and so you've got as much life left over in many cases as you had for your entire working life. So mm -hmm. what are you gonna do with that time? You're just gonna play endless rounds of golf <laughs> and go on endless cruises if you can afford them, uh, or are you going to try and find some meaning for this third age of your life. Well, I think everybody has a dream of something that they've always wanted to do, but they had to go to work. And, yes. and so this is the time, I'm, I'm in third age, I'm 64, so this is the time when I'm doing things that I wanted to do when I was a teenager, say, but I had to be responsible and I couldn't do those things. So this is, you're kind of letting yourself go into this, huh? Right, and, and I aim these, uh, these books at um, people in the third age there, I call them grown-up novels, you know, as opposed to endless novels for the 20-somethings and 30-somethings. So they're inspirational for us. They're sort of, yeah, and aimed very much on themes that are of interest to people in their third age of life there. And, you know, what, wh how are they going to get some meaning into that life? Are they going to start another career? Or, or what, are, what are the options for them out there? And so that's what I use as the kind of my jumping off point for them. In this case, I wanted to draw on my theatrical experience, uh, which I uh, most, I worked in the professional theater in the UK for uh, quite a long time. And then I came back here when I retired and got involved in community theater. Hmm. So this is about a couple um, who have, they'd met in drama school in the UK, had a, a relationship, an affair that went on uh, shortly after that and then they went their separate ways and they never met up again because he went off touring around Australia and places like that she came out to Canada so 
she ends up in Nova Scotia working in community theater and he comes out there because his best friend has uh, just died and so he's come back for the wake so uh -huh. the book starts off with with the the party this the and wake. It, in Nova Scotia you know that with all the sort of Scottish and, and Celtic and Gaelic sort of influences there Wakes are serious business. It's a big party. It's a big, big <laughs> deal. <Yeah. laughs> so the whole of the first chapter is just about all this and how this whole wake kind of gets totally out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but it's also them reconnecting. So they meet up and they haven't seen each other for 40 years. Wow. And uh, they try and pick it up, this relationship. And so it goes on from there. Well, that there. does sound interesting yeah, to somebody yeah. who's older. Yeah. <laughs> so when did you start writing this book, or when did you have the idea? This particular book? Yeah. I started this uh, 2016. 2016. And, and okay. I managed to get a, a sort of a first rough draft done in that six months I was down in Nova Scotia. And then I came back here to Victoria and tried to, you know, to do a... a further finished draft and wasn't getting anywhere because I got involved in theatre again and it was taking up too much of my time. So another friend of mine had has an apartment in Paris that I'd been able to borrow oh, from nice. her once before. So I wrote to her on the off chance. I said, is there any chance I could rent this from you, you know, just because I want to finish my novel? And she said, well, as a matter of fact, you can. She said, it's available for six months. So I went back to Paris. Oh, and I, I actually finished it there when I was in, in Paris. So, and yeah. when was that, 2017 or 2018? Uh, that was the end of 2017. 2017. And then, so then I just came back and I've been revising it uh, since then. And it's just, this is a, just a galley proof of it. It's with the printers now, and I'm hoping to get them before Christmas, so this is a good oh, time great. to uh, get pr novels and things out there. So, yeah. so where can we get this novel? Mm. You're, you I've got your website on your name key. I, but it can be under my website, thirdageworld.com, uh, or it can be uh, on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. How about the local booksellers? Uh, local booksellers, they won't necessarily stock it, but they'll order it for you if you just go in. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and as well, it's it's not available as an ebook yet, but it will be, and I hope to be able to use that as a way of of garnering reviews of it. So I said, if, you know, if I send you a, an e copy of the, would you consider writing a, you know, oh sure, a brief review so I'd that I can uh, put it on. I the, think my wife yeah. and I would both <laughs> be happy to do that. Yeah. So now that's very interesting, and you also are, the reason we uh, actually got together and happened to meet is because you're interested in making an audio. Oh yes, right. That's so right. you're going to be yes, that, doing that, and yep. that's interesting too because now you you'll be able to buy an audio book read by the author, and yep. I think that's kind of cool because of the yep. the intonation and the accent and everything. It just adds to the flavor of it. Yes, and I've. I've tried with my uh, other books to um, to do an audio book, but I never had any success with them because my son was helping me. who's also in uh, he's in the uh, um, film business, mm -hmm. but the technology kind of defeated us at the time. He was he was in England and I was here, and he oh, was yeah. trying to upload it to. Uh, you know, what's, what's, that, what's that cloud thing called? Uh, <laughs> and are you have other books planned? Or is this it? I mean, well, as far as I, this I particular, th this is it, the I story. I thought that this was going to be a one-off um, because in the trilogy I wrote, it was the same, I followed the same two characters through okay. e each of them, and but different settings and so on. This time I wanted to introduce some new characters because I wanted, as I said, use this theatrical uh, material that I had so much of. Um, and so I thought it would just be a one-off, but in fact, it looks like this could turn into, at least if not a sequel, maybe even a, another trilogy. <laughs> well, that would be great. <laughs> so now this, uh, the, the uh, third age exploring, that's, that's not really, you're not talking about, are you talking about traveling or are you just talking about well, mental I'm, travel? I'm talking about how people find meaning for this third age and so I use travel as part of it certainly uh, but also finding something that is going to you know whether it's going to be through some sort of volunteering in an area that they've always been interested in but never had a chance to right. explore while they were working I mean it's kind of 
trying to open people's minds up to the possibility that, you know, it doesn't have to be just the same usual retirement things. And in fact, you need to think long term on this that, you know, you could be retired for 25, 30 years. Yeah, you know? I, I mean, I've been doing this job and this is my last day as a host here and on the show. And I've been doing this for seven years and I never expected to be a TV host. I never <laughs> expected to learn about this technology. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I would just like to put a, make a pitch right here, right now. If there are any volunteers out, or anybody that would like to learn about this technology, come on down to Shaw and, and learn how to do it because we need volunteers here and you can learn a lot for, and it's free. And they don't even have a video studio at UVic, so this is no. a great place to learn about video. Well, what you mean they're looking for a ho Yeah, host. people have to, yeah. This, all, everybody here that's doing this show tonight is a volunteer. We're all, we just, and, and I, I was walking down the street and Jack said, would you like to try my, try working on my show? Oh, so. I, I wouldn't mind doing it. My background is teaching. It doesn't so matter I'm what your background is. It's just it, talking, the, yeah. the attitude is what's important. Yeah. I want to learn this. Yeah. So, and I get to meet interesting people yes. like you. And <laughs> so is there, we're almost out of time. Is there anything else you'd like to say about this? Or? Uh, well, I suppose the only other thing is that um, I, I also, as I said, I'm, I primarily think of myself as a playwright. As I concurrently have got a, uh, a new play that I've just finished and hoping to get a, a production of um, in the coming you know, spring or winter or spring uh, about Tom Thompson, the iconic Canadian painter and oh, okay. you know, his mysterious um, and end where he dies and people write dozens of books and that have been written about him. So I've written a play about this and <laughs> okay, that's great. my take on and, the, and that's on that's on your website too. That's right? on my website okay, too. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well thank you very much. This so is a thanks, very interesting thanks very much to for talk having to me on. I appreciate it. I hope it. you yeah. sell a, a lot of copies of it and, thank and you. that it's inspiring for <laughs> oldsters like us. And thank you very much for watching this segment of Citizens Forum. This is my last segment. I may be back occasionally, but I really need to retire now and concentrate on our YouTube channel and on our website. So I would just like to say thank you and goodbye to all of the listeners that have been watching this show. I don't know <laughs> who you are, but I sure have had a great time uh, learning how to do all these things. So I'd like to thank Jack and I'd like to thank everybody at Shaw because uh, I, when I walked into the studio, this was all a big mystery to me, and now I can run just about any of the equipment in here, so I'm really grateful to Shaw for giving me a free college education. And I, I would just suggest that w the last guest uh, expressed interest on, uh, in becoming a volunteer, and so I would just like to suggest also to anybody out there that if you want to learn about video technology, how to make TV shows, how to, make, how to do live streaming, all these things that are so important to self-expression and to getting the stories out because we're we're f getting fed a lot of stories that aren't true so if you learn how to do this you can tell the truth so anyway i'd like to thank you jack for engaging me in this uh, enterprise and i just uh, it's been one of the best times of my life and i'd like to thank shaw and all of victoria for this great time and thank you will and, uh, and now we're just going to watch uh, a short video on salmon uh, farming. farming by Sea Shepherd. Yeah, yeah. And so it's just a really short video showing what they do. Thank you, Will. Thank you. And thank you for watching Citizens Forum. <laughs>